So, welcome and thank you for the opportunity to come and speak, share my story with you today. So, as it was mentioned, my name is Glenda Kane and I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Notre Dame in Fremantle. And my key responsibility is working with pre-service teachers in preparation for their, um, their experience in the field to make them the very best literacy teachers that they can be. So this is a story of one of the programs that we have that support the development of pre-service teachers and also their engagement with Aboriginal students as well. So the story is a glue that binds us together and we know that from many, many speakers. And stories are also what define us as human beings. So it's through the stories that we connect together. So I want to begin with this story and the story I'm going to tell you first of all, we might just get that to go back if we could. <laughs> So my story could begin with Once Upon a Time because I really do think it's quite magical. And with the story you have characters. So the characters in our story are 25 pre-service teachers from Notre Dame and 25 Aboriginal students from um, uh, Clontarf Aboriginal College. So the setting is the Aboriginal College as you can see there on the screen, a beautiful place. Clontarf is a, um, a secondary college and it draws from students all around Western Australia and further as well. Aboriginal students who come to the college to board and to use the opportunity of education there to extend their educational opportunities and their skills. There's great diversity there. Every story has a problem and this is one of the problems that are there. It is for these students who are in year 10 to be able to engage with literacy learning that's relevant to them as year 10 students. So they have, often have problems with their literacy levels. And so this is where we have the, the pre-service teachers stepping in and they are there to support the students, the Aboriginal students in their literacy development. But how can you do that? How can you do an engaging program when you've got year 10 students, often with difficult literacy levels, want to engage, in, engage with text? And this is where we have the opportunity for our pre-service teachers to step in. So we take our pre-service teachers out to Clontarf on invitation from Clontarf to work together. And we've had a partnership there for over seven years. So our pre-service teachers work one-on-one -on -one with the Clontarf Aboriginal students with the opportunity to mentor them and to work together to develop their literacy skills. But the important part within this um, is the resolution to the problem that's there, the literacy levels and the engagement. And so we have the, the task that we give our students with both students from both institutions is to develop a story. So the students do, um, work with the Aboriginal students to, to tell their story. So together they connect together looking at what do you want to have in your story. And the opportunity to engage with technology makes this possible. So the students engage closely together as you can see in the screen. And they use technology to come together on the idea of creating a text. The students will create a text together. And this text is about the lives of the Indigenous students, the Aboriginal students at Clontarf. And together they plan what this will be. So the solution to some of the problems that we have in this the, the talk is the engagement with a task that's relevant and meaningful to the Aboriginal students, and that's the creation and telling of their own story. And the second part is the use of technology, where technology is the vehicle where the students can document their stories with the support of our pre-service teachers to really come together in a meaningful environment. And by doing that, both working closely together, we have that reciprocity of learning, where our pre-service teachers are helping with the literacy as well as um, engaging the students as well. And I'd like to introduce you to Heidi, Heidi and Kevron. They work together um, over the course of the, the 13 weeks that our students are out there together. And they work together to produce this story of the boy from Joy Springs. And you can see the text is on the floor, it's very small beside me. But this is what Heidi and Kevron work together on. So Kevron came from um, Joy Springs, which is a long way away. 2,500 kilometres from Perth to where he lived, a very remote community. Um, he'd come to Clontarf with the desire of improving himself. Kevron had very, very limited literacy skills, also limited experience with the computer. 
And he was absolutely um, in raptures when he was mentored by Heidi to sit together and she took him through the uh, use of the, the technology to see where he lived. So the, the first lot of um, technological encounter that he had was for Heidi to take him through Google Maps to Joy Springs. So he sat with Heidi, he looked on her computer and he observed his home environment and he was absolutely inspired to see where he could see where his home was, where the river was, all of the places that he loved and valued. And so he then shared with Heidi the experiences that he had that were important to him, that he wanted to put into his book. And you can see as the pages are turning on the screen, this is the book that they created together. He was a very traditional lad who had many traditional practices and he wanted to put those into his book. He wanted to document what he saw and what, what was important to him in his life. And you can see there's some of those traditional things that were quite um, exciting for Heidi to experience were things that we would never e encounter ourselves. But given that one-to-one -one support of Heidi working with Kevron, they developed this amazing text. And you can see there where um, Heidi writes and talks about the experience of working with Kevron in this experience where the passion that he had for his family, for his culture, for his language came to life in the book that he created through the, um, the boy from Joy Springs. We've been out there for seven years and we continue to go again every year. We work closely with the um, coordinator at Conta, uh, Maria Vali, and in a moment she'll speak um, on the screen about what this means to them to have our Notre Dame pre-service teachers come to Clontarf to be able to mentor and support the students that are out there to publish the books. The book says two are presented. Um, the students have published their commercial package. The partnership between Clontarf and Notre Dame continues to strengthen and it's an expectation that our Year 10 students look forward to each year. This year saw a shift to using technology in the planning stages, which was positively embraced by both our students as well as the Notre Dame students. The ease of collating, writing and editing, uploading work samples and photographs made the project not so tedious, but rather more engaging, as our students were each week visually seeing their story come to life. To see the students receive their personal hard copy about their life story is truly a wonderful and powerful experience, and our families are very humbled and proud to read these books. The rapport, trust and friendships developed between the students is also lovely to see. Bringing cultures together and the sharing of stories as they work together is enlightening. A truly wonderful experience to be sharing with my students at Coltaf. The partnership between Coltaf and Notre Dame Just my final message just to sum up, uh, that I really believe that this program shows that culturally responsive curriculum really works. That when you listen to students and give them a voice, that they, the things they come up with are quite amazing. And that engaging with technology is a wonderful vehicle for so many different things as we saw there. And then also the opportunity to celebrate success, which happens when the books are launched and they then go home to the families to be able to be seen. And they stay at Clontar as a resource in the library. So we have over 100, 120 books there now of the students at Clontar. So thank you again for the opportunity.